Hello everyone. Well, I've got a treat for you Kirby fans because yes, I am going to be unboxing my third Kirby vacuum cleaner and I think this so far will be the oldest one and it came in two boxes because not only do I have the Kirby, I also have hopefully all the accessories to go with it. So let's open the Kirby first. Fingers crossed there's nothing wrong with it. This is the heavier box of the two, so I'm assuming that this contains the Kirby itself rather than the accessories, but you never know. Not really sure, I can't remember what uh, name. Is it a, could be a Legend Legend 3, Legend 2 or 3? I think it's a Legend anyway. Well, it's been uh, well packed, that's for sure. Here we go. I believe the seller was aware of my channel, so he may be watching this. So he obviously knew that I'd be um, filming the unboxing. Well, <laughs> well, better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? Okay, right, there's a lot of things in here. A lot of unusually shaped wrapped packages. Well, here's one of the, that's heavy. Ah, this is the Handy Butler. That's a lot of weight in there. Look at that lovely maroon cable. That cable looks in very good condition. I think it's the original cable. Uh, so this is the Kirby itself. I have a feeling then, this unboxing, I mean, I think the the handle, obviously, the Kirby is in the other box. Let's just check in here, make sure there's nothing else. Yep, that's all empty. Right. Oh, this is part of that. Now, where's my box cutter? Let's carefully open this because I don't want to damage anything. I love the design of this bag. Now, I do know that this, it's not as dull as some of the Kirby's, well, the other two Kirby's I've um, I bought. I got the, yes, it's a, sorry, it's a classic, is that two? I think there's a classic two. Um, oh, it smells, and uh, not an unpleasant smell. Um, both Kirby's I got uh, the tradition I think it was the blue one and the uh, essential the diamond G edition was it uh, both of them were a bit dull this one isn't too bad but this will polish up much better than that so this though does not use bags so this predates the I want to say tradition I think it was the blue tradition I do like that plaid or tartan-esque bag. That's a lovely looking bag. And I do like the uh, the red of this Kirby. So there's the, uh, is it Emptor or Emptor? Emptor or Emptor? I think it's, I don't know. Anyway, there's that bit at the bottom that catches the larger particles, I think, um, heavier particles. Yeah, so it's obviously a little bit dirty, but um, not as dirty as the uh, tradition. So there's the uh, lovely bag. And there is a spare bag actually with this as well, but not the same design. So inside here, it's one of the accessories. And is this the floor? I don't know if this is the rug renovator or... Ooh. It's got some bits on it. Well, Kirby called it the miracle Kirby head. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if that's for the floors or for a renovating, rug re renovator. I'm not sure. I think we've got the instructions with this one. Hopefully we have. If not though, the instructions are viewable online. Again, the finish is a bit dull, but that will polish up very nicely. 
and we'll have a quick look at this now i did buy, get some accessories with the tradition but um, there were a lot of bits were missing so i'm hoping that all the parts will be included so i can do individual demos of each part for you if you want to see that comment below if you want to see individual demos oh even more wrapping this is possibly unused what often is the case with a kirby they're sold to uh, elderly people um, who find out once they've got the thing delivered they don't use it much um, and they certainly don't use a lot of the accessories and that is looks like the case for this this is the uh, power extension shaft and that to me looks completely unused in fact it may not have even been out of this packaging unless you the person that sold it to me took it out just to try it but it's virtually unused I think so inside the box as well we've got oh I didn't know it came with that it's actually got the jigsaw and that does look unused look at that that's the jigsaw attachment because I know uh, the tradition I think they did away with the jigsaw attachment when the tradition came along wow look at that Ooh, getting some muck on my hands oh that's a bonus I didn't know it came with that so that's a jigsaw attachment they've got uh, a buffing pad then you've got this gubbins which attaches to the Kirby itself um, there's a belt in there so it attaches to the front of the Kirby um, I'll have to look at uh, how to do all this and there's a drill bit attachment there or the chuck for the drill bits and what's in this one ah oh, these all oh yes look at that folks I don't think any of this has been used do you it's even got these wax I think they're oh polishing compounds for polishing stainless steel brass aluminium chromium and similar metals rubbed sparing, sparingly against edge of rotating buffing wheel so there's that one and then there's another one slightly lighter color and that is the polishing compound fine number two and that's for polishing plated and sterling silver and other soft metals also for final finishing of all metals and plastics rub sparingly against the edge of blah 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 so there's those there's one spinning polishing disc there there's another one there what's here something in a little envelope this is yes this is not used at all is it Ah, uh, they've gone rusty, but um, you can probably get regular jigsaw blades. In fact, I might be able to clean the rust off those. And there's two jigsaw blades in there. And then you've got uh, this part as well for the polishing. Now you could, well, these fit on oh, sandpaper. will possibly stick onto those. So we've got the sandpaper discs various grades and we've got these rubber cups and I can't remember what they were for but uh, no doubt the instructions will show me but it shows you everything that should come in in the box stitched buffing wheel yes there we go so use different buff buffing wheels for the different polishes and yes it's all there that seems to be complete that part right that's fantastic okay let's open this other box not sure where it opens I'll just use my box cutter see aha uh -huh. that's it opens here oh so now inside here hopefully the handle of the Kirby will be in this as well we've yet another Kirby box well I'll just see if that will just slide out right I'll just pause and get it out of this outer box
Okay, so it's out of the box. Kirby Classic 2, quality, reliability, performance. And manufactured by the Kirby Co. Is that Andrews, Texas and Cleveland, Ohio, USA, division of S and F. Um, Scots and Feltzer is that, Cleveland, Ohio. Right. Inside the box, more packaging. Right. All very well packed. This is probably the best packaging I've seen. So, instruction booklet, which will be very necessary. It's got a bit of writing on, of the original owner, I expect. Warranty and instruction book. So it's all here. <laughs> Well, I'm hoping I'll be able to check off all those parts. I'm hoping I've got all of those with this. It's a lovely old um, book like this, isn't it? I love these old style books with proper proper photographs. I know they're black and white, but they're proper photos instead of just drawings like you get nowadays, mostly with instruction books and look, even illustrations of the machine in use. That's wonderful. I believe you can see all these online anyway on Kirby's website. Even for older models, they've got uh, online instructions for you to look at. Oh, there's something written here. What does it say? NB, for all fittings with belt, make sure the belt is hooked on the lifter when in the off position. Wow. So there we go, I'll be looking at that later. That hose is in lovely condition. I love this red colour. That's probably what attracted me to buying this. It, was, it wasn't it was on an auction, it was on a buy it now and I think the seller put it at a certain price and then reduced it a bit and, I, and it made it a little bit more tempting. But I thought, well, I'm not bothered if I have it or not. So I offered a little bit less and the seller accepted that. So I can't remember how much it was. I think it was 115 pounds. That's for everything plus delivery. So I don't think that's bad. Here's the handle. Again, that lovely burgundy red. And the hose. It is very like the hose on my um, tradition, but that's blue. But I say it wasn't complete, it didn't have all the parts. Here is a spare bag, but I'm not sure if it's a genuine Kirby. It's completely unused, no, it's made in China. So that's not a genuine Kirby bag. But there is a spare. I might be able to get a genuine matching bag still for this. Now, I'm going to be saying the word, I'm going to be saying the S word in a minute. I had a little, <laughs> a little joke with one of my Facebook followers. When I posted a picture of this Kirby on my Facebook page, um, before I got it, I posted a picture of the um, eBay listing. And, it was commented, yes, I now have a Kirby Shag King. For deep pile shag carpeting, I mean you'd get lost in carpet this thick. If you need one of these, it looks like something you'd attach to a farm impl farm in farming implement, doesn't it? You'd be ploughing the fields with that. Look at that. So, yes, well, I don't have anything shag here, I'm afraid, but <laughs> I have a deeper pile rug, but nothing. So basically, I think this would have been used to sort of comb your shag pile carpeting back in the 70s when it was fashionable. But uh, it's probably unused as well. I don't think the um, original owners would have had shag carpeting even in the 70s. It wasn't that popular in the UK, I don't think. Here's the, uh, oh, I was going to say the handle, but no, it's not the handle yet. It's the uh, extension wand. 
a little bit dirt, dusty, not dirty, dusty. It's all going to be cleaned and polished up so it's even better, but you know, it's pretty good anyway. Here's the handle. I mean, I would like a later Kirby at some point, the latest um, an Avalier, but I'm not going to rush to get one. You know, there are other, other vacuums I'd like to own before buying another Kirby. Look at that, it's almost a, a leather effect on there, on the front of that handle. And you do have, and it isn't a joke, somebody did tell me this, that's for putting coins in, although it's quite narrow. You can use that as you're vacuuming around if you find the odd coin on the floor or down the side of your settee. Pop it in there and save up for whatever you want to save up for. You can take this off. There you go, to get to all your money out. So that's the handle again. It's, it's, it will polish up. It's, it's fairly clean. It's clean but that will be polished to a mirror finish but I'll do it I think I'll do it all by hand anyway uh, I don't have a machine for that and here is the handy waxer I don't know if I'll be able to demonstrate this on the floors I have Ooh. Not sure what's if, if that's supposed to be like that. I'll have to check. Oh, I think something's perished here. Oh yes, look, it's possibly unused. But, uh, that that doesn't look quite right, does it? So I'm not sure. I'll again. I'll have to look at all. Uh, look through all the instructions. It's an old thing, you know. It's not going to be as new even if they are unused these things deteriorate things things go off things you know that are kept in the boxes for a long time even don't survive but that's no no hardship right three other little boxes and then we have, we've got to have a look at the cleaner itself haven't we the main head of the machine we haven't looked at yet oh, it's like christmas so ooh, what's in this little box here Oh, it's for the handy waxer. Place one of the enclosed wax bags in your Kirby handy waxer. Uh, this might not have survived for many years. Ooh, dear. <laughs> that's, yeah, I don't think that's usable. I mean, it's rock hard. Would it have been? I mean, you might be able to sort of soften that up. I don't think I will use this. But um, you could probably soften that up by putting it in some uh, hot water, perhaps, if that's what you're supposed to do with it. There's only one of those in there, so perhaps it has been used for waxing. They might have had a nice parquet floor. So here's the rug renovator. Now, so we've got the old uh, Sudzo gun, isn't it? The Sadzo gun. Pew, pew. Should have a should have a nozzle on on the end of there somewhere. And of course, that's the other part of the old shampoo system. The tank. Is the uh, this looks unused? Possibly, I'm not sure. It might have been used. Yeah. the metal head oh there's the uh, there's the end for the sudzo gun that's it uh, oh that's a fill cap well which must go on here does it yes that's for the shampoo container oh and in here look more unused bits another little filter there and a, a little metal ring kirbyneeds.com I love my Kirby, it says. I love it. You mustn't love vacuum cleaners, folks. It's not right to love a vacuum. It's only a thing, you know. And here we have a rug protector pad. 
for the rug renovator. Well, lots of these they look like little coasters. I'm not really sure how those work. But once I've perused the book, and here we go. Yes, this actually this does look unused. It's a bit dusty from storage, but that does look unused. The shampoo part there. So that first part I showed you with the brush probably was uh, for the floors then. But yes, it's just an older version of the one I showed you. Demonst I demonstrated the uh, later version, didn't I, with my diamond edition Kirby. I did a shampooing video of that. So right, I'll just uh, shovel that to one side. I haven't got time to sort it now. Let's have a look at the vacuum itself and we'll turn it on of course. Oh hang on a minute. Oh heck! Will this video ever end? I've got this to look at. So we have another box. What could be in this one? Well let's have a look. Um, is it just open here? Yes there we go. Oh, of course, of course, Rog. All the tools look. Oh, oh, and I think, look at these, these. This is like it's just come out of the factory. Look at that. Oh, I think I'm, I'm well pleased so far. Um, yeah, this is the handle when you convert it to a little handheld vacuum. Wow. What on earth? Oh. Wow, a crystallator. What's that for? I don't know if it's for putting moth crystals in or something, but... <laughs> well, I'm going to have fun discovering all these things. Look at that. I didn't... Crikey. Lots of surprises in this Kirby box. There's the crystallator. And then you've got this, which you can use when you're using for the um, inflator. You could probably use it on a suction end if you've got... Uh, you want to use it to suck out uh, tight in a very tight space, but you'd use that for inflating things when it's in blow mode. Oh, this is a lovely, a lovely nose. Oh, look at that. Look at that, folks. It looks new. I don't think that's, that's seen any use. Look at it. You've got a little lever on the front, down. Oh, there we go, up up with the brush up and then with the brush down i think i'll store it with the brush up look at that ah i do like that color it's very retro i mean it looks like it's more out of the 50s doesn't it but i think this is the from the 70s comment below if you can date this for me i think it's the 70s at some point um there's an angled part i assume that attaches possibly to the hose or the end of this is it for this somehow might might have something to do with that i don't know again i will have to look in the instruction book won't i oh i've just spotted something that's uh, not survived very well these plastics have survived very well though look at that size of that brush i think that might have had a little bit of use a bit distorted isn't it there look not bothered about that though it's got the old kirby branding on it as well it's nice that it shows you exactly where all the parts go as well. And, and you've got your general sort of all-purpose small nozzle with upholstery and your curtains and things. On the handy scalp massager. I'll try that out, see if it'll grow my hair back. Massaging my scalp with that. It'd be good actually if you've got dandruff, wouldn't it? Because you could just use this suck out the dandruff from your head there a spare belt i do have more belts i'm not sure if they all they fit all kirby's the belts i already have they might fit not sure easy enough to buy belts though isn't it for these uh oh, and there's another belt on the dusting brush looks a little bit more worn not sure about that here's the dusting brush again it's got a bit distorted in the box but a bit of hot water should help with that Nice soft brushes, good for your blinds and your lampshades. But it's it's never ending, isn't it? Oh, there's the curved handle. It's a, it obviously has been used a bit. A curved handle piece. Your crevice tool is here. 
That doesn't really look used. If it has been used, it hasn't been used much. Look at that, look at the shine on that, folks. And you've got a little bush at the end, <clears throat> which you can, of course, pull off, which I won't bother now, but it does come off that, that little bit there. Look at that. Doesn't seem to have, to have seen any dirt in there. So there's that. And, oh, your carry strap, your shoulder strap, for when you're using it like a handheld. And finally, this part, which has rusted or something's happened to it anyway. I'm not really sure what that's for, but again, well, it's obviously for a hard floor. Does that fit on? To, oh, this, I think this Kirby could be quite a wide Kirby because I think that might clip onto the base of the actual Kirby. We haven't even looked at the Kirby yet, have we? Haven't even opened the main thing. Right. Well, we're going to do that now, folks. Hopefully you've enjoyed looking at all these bits. It's going to be a long video. Right, time to open the Kirby. Okay, let's carefully take this off without uh, scratching anything. probably has been polished. I mean, if this had never been touched from new, I think this would be a very dull finish. You can see it has got some shine to it, but I'll get that shinier. And of course, this is before tech drive. No, no tech drive on this Kirby. And there's some scratches on the head, but and again, you've got that sort of leather look finish there. And there's a little window for you to see the belt. There's the headlamp as well here. Oh, well, in all, I think the, yes, you can just take that off, I think. I think that pulls out, I won't do it now, the um, mains cable. And you've got the on-off switch here. Oh, it feels very nice, very vintage feel to that switch. I don't know if it's on or off now. Uh, not sure if that does anything. Oh yes, it does. A little slider here, look. That pops out, so that's obviously, I think, for removing the handle. Turn it around that way, and you can see then. Let me see, oh, there you go, that pops out there. A little pin pops out when you move that along. Um, oh, it's got a suction, a suction control here. Open if suction is too high. So that's the open position. That's good, isn't it? Lots of little extras I'm finding on this Kirby that I wasn't expecting. And underneath, oh, it's lovely, isn't it? I think this is going to uh, purr like a kitten, I hopefully. I think it will. I think it will work very well. Look at that. There's not, there's a bit of wear on the wheels, but there's not that much wear on the wheels. That's somewhere I always look at if I'm looking at buying a second-hand vacuum. Look at the wheels, and if the wheels are really worn, the vacuum's had a hard life. These wheels are pretty good. Okay, I'm going to assemble Kirby, but we'll have a quick look at the old rating plate underneath. Okay, so it's a 230 to 250 volt machine, 600 watts, 3 amps. So the serial number is X115190. Kirby model classic 2. The Kirby company division of the Scott and Fetzer Company, Cleveland, Ohio. Patents pending in United Kingdom, France, West Germany, Switzerland and Australia. Well, the final thing to do is to check that this Kirby actually works. I think it should do, judging by the condition of everything. So let's get the handle on. Um, there's another, ah, there's another pin look that comes out, in and out. Shake it all about. And obviously goes that way. Oh, there we go, I think that's it. Hang on, does the pin come completely out? I think I have to pull it completely out. That's it slide slide it back there we are right that's easy enough yeah that's it so that's the handle on well the lower part of the handle anyway 
and it's ah oh yes there we go well, that gets in the way a bit right and where is the other part of the handle we've got the top does that just go in here now hang on let's does that just push in or do you have to pull something out first ah oh, no hang on do i i think i have to unscrew something yeah i think uh or do I? Hmm. Maybe not. I think I better check the instruction book. Well, that's the upper handle assembled. I think the seller removed it for shipping. I just had to remove the nut and bolt through here and then push the handle in and then put the nut and bolt back in and screw it up. And that's still working. That's the top cord hook that rotates. Now, I think all we need to do is attach the bag. Okay, so I just need to attach the Sani mTOR onto the cleaner itself. I think that's it. And you lock it in position. There we go. That's it. And then hook the bag onto the top like so. Now there are two hooks for some reason. Again, I'll check the instruction book. But if I put it on that way, it's a bit loose. So I'm going to put it on the top hook. That feels a lot better. I've just discovered what this other hook is for. It's for the cord because on the cord we've got this little loop here. So that goes up and hooks over there. Now the rest of the cord, and this is the first thing I found wrong with this cleaner. We have a little breakage. It's not a deal breaker, but I'll show you what's wrong. Just down here at the bottom, this should be a clip and it seems to have broken off and I think that is to clip the cable neatly into there. Now, to make it semi-permanent though, I could put a cable tie through these two holes and actually fasten it to that and then cut off the excess, but then it wouldn't be very good when I need to remove the handle. So, well, I might be able to source a new back panel because that's all it needs. Um, to make this machine perfect because yeah that should definitely clip into there while I'm in this vicinity we can see there's an extra zip here now by opening the zip now you don't have to use do this every time it's going to be messy to empty this because there's no um, disposable bag I think there's probably a way I could convert it to take a paper bag um, this is what this I don't know if this is uh, a Kirby accessory, but that smells, and not an unpleasant smell. I was wondering what the smell was, and there's two bits of uh, cotton, cotton wool pads that smell quite pleasant. And inside this part of the bag, which is pretty clean, ah, oh, what's that? There's a little, little thing. I think this is used. <laughs> Oh, it reminds me of something from James Herriot, All Creatures Great and Small, if you know that programme. <laughs> oh, he went a lot deeper than that, though. Um, <laughs> inside the cow. Uh, yeah, there's there's a little sort of plastic thing, and I think it's, it's used to sort of... There's a rigid piece of plastic I can't show you. Uh, I think that's what uh, Kirby called the Sani Scraper. So you, you basically put your hand in, grab the sani scraper and do this to help release the dirt, give it a good shake. It's, it's going to be very messy, messier than any bagless cleaner to empty. But that inside there is surprisingly clean, this part. Look at that. Well, I, well it's a good job it is where well, I put my hand in there. Who knows what might have been in that. I'll pop these back, but I suppose that, that's a good idea. You could um, freshen those up with some drops of essential oil, couldn't you? Pop them in here and release a nice odour when you're vacuuming. Right, I think we're ready for the big switch on. While I was checking the instruction book, I noticed the date of delivery. So we can date the exact day when this machine was first delivered. And it was on the 16th of May, 1979. So she's a 70s girl, just. Well, after unboxing all the parts, it hasn't left me much space for a quick demo, but uh, I'll use the space I've got. And uh, let's see, let's raise up the Kirby first. It will be on the, one of the lowest settings. Um, 
Right, here goes. Oh, it didn't work folks. I heard something happen and then it just went <clears throat> I don't know if the fuse is blown. Oh dear. Well, would you Adam and believe it folks, say? Eh? I've unplugged it. Well, not unplugged it, I've switched it off. Let's just pull this plug out. I'm sure this plug comes out. Ah, look, it's a bit cracked there. Don't say this doesn't work. You surely the seller would have done that, surely. Let's try again. No, nope, doesn't work. I wonder if the fuse is blown. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to work. Well, I didn't really want to show you this. I thought I'd get it fixed. I thought, well, perhaps the fuse blew for some reason. So I took the fuse out of this plug and put a fuse in that I knew worked from a new vacuum. Um, but also I checked the fuse from this plug in the new vacuum and it worked. So the fuse hasn't blown, but this has definitely been off because there's a crack here, this panel here, where it's been tightened up. So I don't know. Is there something that's stopping it working? I mean, the, the cover's on. The motor should come on, shouldn't it, with the cover on? I'll just try it once more. Oh, dearie me. Well, it certainly acts like a Kirby. It's got tremendous suction at the head. I could see it lifting up the carpet, but it's got an ear piercing tone to the motor, which I don't expect from a Kirby. I don't know how well it picked up on the microphone, but uh, my right ear is, is ringing. There's something not quite right. I don't think with this now, hang on, I've turned it off. I'm a bit wary of it as well, let's unplug it. I'm just a little bit nervous of this cleaner. It doesn't sound, oh yeah, I should have used a suction thing actually. It doesn't to me sound as a Kirby should sound. It certainly doesn't sound like my other two Kirby's. My other two Kirby's do not have that high pitched tone now, whether it's because, I don't know, I'm going to try it without the head on. And this, of course, has got, I think it's a metal fan now. Yes, it is unplugged. Yes, it's a metal fan. I'm just going to listen to the, oh, we can't though, can we? How can I do this, folks? Because I don't think it's going to allow me to switch it on. Is it? Where is the switch? I'll try it. There should be a switch though, shouldn't there, to stop you operating it. Ah, I don't know if it is. Shouldn't there be a serial number printed on there? Hmm. Perhaps not. Well, it was on the underside. I don't think it's going to turn on, will it? Without the motor cover on. No. No, it won't. So what I could possibly do then Ah, where's the thing? Hmm, let's detach the hose. Oh, this is going to go on forever. Anyway, I just want to listen to the motor without the agitator. Now, this should do it, shouldn't it? Should switch on with the hose. Hang on. Does it go on like that? should do. Hang on, it's a bit. Uh, 
Right, there we go. Okay, well it should turn on now. Let's see if we can listen to that motor now. Again, I'm a bit, ooh, a bit wary of this. It's definitely something dodgy at the switch end. It's, no, it's got that high pitched, let's unplug it. It's got that high pitched scream that you do not associate with Kirby. Uh, no, oh dear. You see, it looked good, didn't it? Looked very good. It looked looked the part, but I don't think, right, Kirby experts. I'm not an expert in Kirby's, but that don't sound right. That don't sound right, folks. And I am not prepared to take this apart. Oh well. Just doesn't. Just isn't. No, it's not got the sound I expect it to have. Have I done this right? Hang on, let's get this thing back on. I should use it with a suction open, actually, because I'm not sure if it was open. Crikey, if that was the performance I got with the suction relief open, it'll just totally stick to my carpet. That should do it, shouldn't it? Right, let's just have a, another go. with it open let's just see what it's like with it closed So the suction relief valve was open and I'll just close it. I can't remember if it was open or closed when I initially used it. Yeah, I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps this model does sound like that. Anyway, I'm sure Kirby experts watching will be able to tell me. Right, this video's gone on for far too long. Um, I haven't even got time to do a glamour shot at the moment. I might have to do it later because at the moment, if you could see the mess that is behind me with all the unboxing, I've got to sort that out <laughs> because uh, a certain person will be coming home soon and not be very happy to see this mess. Well, there we go then. Mm, So-so with this one. It's, uh, I'm a little bit wary of it um, with that motor. It doesn't sound quite right. But anyway, it might be correct. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments section below any other information you've got. And in the meantime, of course, I'll give this a polish. I'll peruse the instruction and uh, I'll do some separate demos using all the attachments. So that's it for this Kirby video. I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.